Hey guys, welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. We're here today again at Click Lewis and we are here to review the 2019 Chevy Blazer RS edition with pretty much every option checked. All right guys, so this is the 2019 Chevy Blazer and it is something to look at. I mean, it actually looks a lot like a Camaro from the front. It has a massive grill and right off the bat, you notice this is a sporty approach to the typical Blazer of old. If we look up here at the top, these are actually not the headlights. These are just for the LED strip to give it that extra sporty look. The headlight is actually down lower right here that's the headlight so where the headlight should be is just an led strip and where the fog light should be is the headlight and down below that is the turn signal so it's a little bit differently set up than usual but what i like about it right off the bat is the fact it's black very menacing looking it has the black bow tie package which i love chevy for doing this they're finally getting with the times and realizing that people are taking their cars and blacking out the bow ties anyway so they're just giving us the option now it's fantastic like i said though what you're going to notice immediately when looking at it is the massive front grille which of course is there to take in as much air as possible keep things cool but it does give it a very camaro-esque look and that's not a bad thing it is just giving you a sports car look in an suv body so continuing Going on with the front end though we also have the camera right here now this particular blazer with the rs package actually has a lot of technology packed in here and we're going to go through all of it here in a second but we do notice the front camera here and we'll come across a couple more of them as we go around the vehicle at the end of the day this car can almost be driven without even looking out of the front window because of the technology but we'll touch on that more in a second moving along to the side of the vehicle these are actually 21 inch black painted wheels again like i said this is going for a very sporty look and this is a good way to start it 21 inch black on black with the black bow tie on the center cap i mean they're definitely going for a black on black on black option here and it works with this particular setup now sporty is really the name of the game when it comes to the new blazer here guys like i said the 2019 21 inch rims in the front and back black painted black everything even if you look at the actual blazer lettering here it is black as well so regardless of what color you get that will be black on the rs version moving on this suv actually has the turn signals built into the mirror which is not a huge thing nowadays but it's still pretty cool to see led of course it does also have the panoramic top sunroof slash moon roof now coming around to the back of the vehicle of course we still have the black bow ties on the back as well the rs badging showing we got the top dog the all-wheel drive lettering here which is actually kind of hard to see on camera but it's right there so like i said the black lettering on black paint on black wheels it's definitely a stealthy approach and for the tailgate you actually press the button back here and it pops up it is fully automatic so it will go up on its own definitely a lot of cargo space back here this particular option actually comes with the chevy all-weather floor mats which is pretty cool i have those in my colorado they are very useful cargo net tie downs and pockets here for extra storage so there is a lot of storage capability back here which again of course it's an suv so you should have a good bit of storage but this particular one seems like it can do it all so we got the storage we got the off-road ability and we got the ability to tow this seems like a win to me we also have down here a pretty sporty looking diffuser and two side exit exhaust tips this is definitely a different approach to the blazer like i said if you're used to the one from back in the day this is definitely not the same kind of thing this is a much more quality luxury type experience while still giving you that off-road ability and towing ability so let's jump inside and take a look at some of the interior features inside the vehicle we have the same kind of stuff the same kind of quality throughout we have the red stitching on the door panels on the seats on the dash red rings around all of the actual vents everything in here is black and red which of course just screams sporty the memory package here would allow you to set two different seating positions and store them in memory but if we come down here even better is the ability to open the rear tailgate the whole way or only three quarters of the way 
This is good for people like me who don't have the highest ceilings possible in their garage. This will allow you to open it and not smash it into the ceiling of your garage. So definitely a good option to have there. Also, when opening it up, we get to see this is the Bose speaker sound system in this guy. So we get an awesome sounding OEM speaker system that will fit the sportiness and luxury approach that Chevy's going for with the Blazer. Down here, we have a little name emblem saying Chevrolet as we're getting in. Again, just kind of a little touch to give it that extra luxury feel. On the dashboard, we can also see we have an electronic parking brake. So you push that button, it turns on the parking brake put your foot on the brake and push it again to turn it off. So there's no lever or push pedal of old. So like I said, the Blazer is now being thrown into the future and we're getting a more technology packed version of the old Blazer. The very first thing I notice, we finally, 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 finally get the option for a black bow tie on the steering wheel. In my Colorado, for those of you who don't know, I blacked this out with a piece of vinyl, but Chevy decided to give the Blazer its own little option here, and now that's good to go. I mean, you don't have to worry about blacking these out anymore. They're already done. Again, big deal for me. I applaud Chevy for this because it's the little things that count, and this is a great start. We got a great digital display here. We actually have all of this right here is digital and will allow you to customize some of the things on the display. These over here are analog gauges for your RPM as well as your fuel and coolant temperature. Here we have the option to turn on and off the heated steering wheel, which is awesome. Living in Pennsylvania, it's always, always a welcome feature. What I always thought was interesting, especially with the new Camaros, was the fact that you actually change the temperature of your heat or cool by turning this entire thing. So to the left cools it, to the right heats it up, and you're basically adjusting it on the actual vent. I always thought that was neat in the Camaro and that has made its way over to the Blazer as well. Now we do have dual climate control in this car and as you can see, they're both set to low because it's a really hot day here in Pennsylvania. But in order to turn up and down the fan speed, you can see here we are adjusting the level of dots right there, indicating how fast the fan speed is going. So a lot of this stuff is getting streamlined where you don't necessarily have to have a huge stack of buttons or all of it built into the screen anymore. We can kind of, in a more modern way, build it into different parts of the car. So it's pretty cool to see this kind of stuff, but we also have a really, really nice touch screen in this car. The screen itself is actually glass. And right off the bat, that tells me that touch sensitivity is always better than whenever it is what they call a resistive screen. This is capacitive. So it responds to the heat of your finger versus the pressure of your finger. And this one, because it's responding to the heat, is much quicker and much more accurate. I like this. This is definitely more up to date, more modern, and it fits the Blazer perfectly. Now, one of the neatest features of this particular Blazer is the mirror. So as you can see right now, we have the mirror on regular mirror mode. So it's just reflecting what it sees. But if I actually grab back here and flick it down, now we're looking at a video feed. And look at that. I mean, look how clear that is. You wouldn't even know that that's not actually a mirror image of what's behind me. But that's actually a video feed from the rear of the car. Really, really crazy stuff. I mean, it is actually a brighter image than what I can see if I look out the back of the SUV here. Pretty cool stuff. Now, of course, this is the push button start. Uh, we do also have the keys here. That's just your typical key fob to allow a push button start to work. And we also have the wireless charging pad here. So you just slide your phone right down in there and it would charge it for you. We're living in the future here. Moving on to the shifter here, we have some more sporty details. RS right here, written in red. Red stitching all the way down the shifter boot and a black chrome outlining everything. In the center, we also have a USB-C port as well as a USB-A port to just plug basically anything you need nowadays right into it. Overall, guys, I'm more impressed with this Blazer than I thought I would be. It's actually really nice in here. It feels very quality. The dashboard is all really very well sewn together and using nice leather materials. The infotainment system is definitely up to date, very quick, responds awesomely. Digital display in the middle can be customized a couple different ways with different gauges. I mean, this is definitely not your grandfather's blazer. Like I said earlier though, it does have the panoramic sun slash moon roof. And that basically means this whole thing opens up and you have pretty much an entirely wide open view of the sky. We also have the blind spot monitoring here in the side view mirror, as you can see, if something's happening over there you can't quite see in that mirror that will light up and let you know which is again an indication that we are living in the future 
The quality of the leather on the seats is very good. It actually feels quite premium. And honestly, the cost for this particular vehicle seems low for what you're actually getting. But if you're used to paying what you used to for the old Trailblazer, it's gonna be quite a shock. Another cool feature of the particular Blazer I'm in is the mode select here. Will allow you to actually go from two wheel drive, which is what we're in now, and it's green. If I slide it over, it actually will go into all wheel drive mode and turn red. It also will let you know up on the screen there that all wheel drive is on. And if we turn it again, it will go into sport mode. Again, on the screen tells you it's in now sport mode. And the next one over would be called off-road mode, which of course is gonna give you the best off-road ability of the Blazer. And then the last one is towing mode. So like I said, this particular one is actually gonna give you the best off-road ability as well as the ability to tow stuff. So that's what the Blazer was really well known for in the past. And this one is trying to hold on to some of that identity. And here beside it, we also have the parking sensors and the lane departure assist. You can turn those on and off by pressing this button right beside the mode selector. Kind of an interesting option here is this button right here for the glove box. So as you can see, the glove box down here does not have a handle or any way to get into it. You press the button and there it is. Pretty cool. Unnecessary, but cool. And then right beside that, we have the traction off button. As you can see, this is just two row seating. There is not third row in this. Of course, I would probably make it too big, so it is still a decent size, but there is no third row back there. Here is the back seats. As you can see, the leg room is pretty decent. I fit back there as a 5'11 person. It's not too bad. If you're overly tall, the leg room is going to get cramped unless these guys move up a little bit. It's definitely not bad. Again, door panels in the back, just as quality as the front. Nice stitching, very sporty. And everything here is covered with some sort of leather. There's no hard plastic or anything cheap feeling. So we're gonna go ahead and take the car for a ride now, see how it rides and how it handles on just normal roads. As you guys may know, Chevy recently brought out the Blazer again as a refresh, and it is definitely a pretty spectacular SUV. It seems like it rides very nicely. It handles bumps in the road quite well. It gives us all the technology we need as well as all the features we need. So towing, off-roading, all that good stuff. We get it all with this, it seems. We do have the lane departure down there. As you can see, it's actually working. I'm in the green now, and if I start going over this line, it turns orange. But it has a great suspension setup. It feels like it would be a perfect daily driver. It handles the bumps well and doesn't seem like it's coming apart, so it's definitely a good thing. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. For $50,000, it's by no means cheap, but at the same time, I feel like you're getting quality here that might even be worth more than $50,000. So like I said, this is the Bose system. So we have the center speaker up there as well. We basically got pretty much all the options on this one. And at 50,000, it's not bad because you're getting a lot of good things. I mean, the fact that this car is able to give you a bird's eye view, which is freaking amazing for $50,000 is pretty cool. Here's what we have the options of though. So we have that front view camera we talked about earlier. And if I touch it again, it will give me the back view camera. Then we can go to a more wide back view camera. So really gives you more of a wider approach angle so you can see more things. And the same thing with the front. So we can go with just your normal front view camera or full screen front view camera, which just basically gives you a little bit of a wider view. Now you can see when I do this, it actually gives me the bird's eye view of the car too. So you can see what's beside me and what's on the other side. Right now I'm parked right beside a curb and as you can see there's a line right there. That is the actual curb. Over here there's just more street. Now if we go over to here it actually zooms in to what's in front of me. So if I wanted to make sure that I'm definitely not going to hit something you can zoom into it and be 100% positive. Now the other option here is actually a completely 360 degree view of your car. So like I said earlier I could cover up the entire window here and drive with this thing and it's going to show me and almost perfect accuracy what is around me and in front of me. You would not believe how useful something like that is. Then of course we have the side view cameras too, again showing just road view over here and the curb that's beside me there. And this is the actual car being displayed from the side view mirrors down. 
So if we come over here in the last option, will actually give me a view of the tow hitch. So if I were to tow something with this and I needed to back up to it, that would actually show me right where the tow hitch is and I'd be able to do it without even getting out of the car. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Like I said, big thank you to Click Lewis Chevrolet again for allowing me to take this car out today and really get a feel for how I'm gonna like it if I decide to purchase it. Like I said, they gave me the car for the day to do what I wanted with it. I was able to feel not so rushed and really get a good feeling of whether or not I would like this car for my wife. So I wanna give them big, big thumbs up, but at the same time, like I said, I wanted to share it with you. So if you enjoyed what you saw, give me a big thumbs up here. If you have any questions about the Blazer, shoot them in the comment section down below or send me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com. I'm always happy to hear from you and I'm glad to answer any questions you may have about this particular car or anything on the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. There's gonna be content like this coming in the future. And of course, I still will have my Colorado and my Corvette stuff. So if you guys are interested in any of that, definitely check that out as well. And as always guys, I will catch you in the next one.